Peace and blessings, everyone. Kay the Creator here, and we are doing, for the first time in ages, a food review. As you can see, some of the food is already next to me. We will be trying out food from a place called The Loaded Mac. The, uh, the, the, the logo and everything will be right here. So when you see it edited, it'll be right here. Um, I got a couple of items today. No, I will not be eating them all completely because I just came off a fast. Um, so my stomach will not be able to take anything. However, I will be tasting everything, telling you what is good from what I got. Um, my wife suggested it to me, shout out to her. And with that said, let's get into the review. <laughs> As you can see, I purchased a lot of food. This is the dessert, the uh, strawberry cheesecake trifle. Mm. This is the, uh, I believe, this is the honey garlic lemon pepper chicken sandwich. Mm. This is the everything salmon sandwich. Mm. Uh, this is Mexican street corn. Mm. And this is the, the piece of resistance right here. Uh, in the case, this is a uh, Trini mac and cheese with garlic, uh, chicken, sauteed pepper, sauteed onions, garlic, and garlic corn. So, uh, just all the food. Oh, and that's the sauce. That's the sweet sauce. The, the yam sauce, they call it. All right, let's get into this review. All right. Mexican street corn first. All right. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, and the merciful. All Allah, uh, please bless the food and nourish my mind, body, and spirit. I mean, all right. Taste it. It's good. I can taste the lime, the cilantro. Corn is cooked to satisfaction. The only thing is, I don't seem to have a lot of that uh, queso blanco. Not queso blanco, but um, you know the type of cheese that's like, you shred it, it's kind of like a white cheese. Now, it may be like up in here, but usually you have it like at the top. Mm. Oh, nope, there it is. It's, uh, it's all inside of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is solid. Well, obviously, it's not authentic, but eight out of ten. Definitely solid. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. All right, let's move on to the sandwiches. This is the everything fried salmon sandwich, complete with coleslaw and tartar sauce. Take that out. The bun is really nice. The bun is really nice. It looks like they toasted it a little bit. Let you all see the inside of that right there. It's nice and crusted. You see, you see a little bit of the cold slaw um, or cabbage. That's what it's looking like more so than um, cold slaw. You see the tartar sauce. All right, enough modeling. Time to take a bite. All right. Bon appetit. <laughs> Oh man, that, when they say everything, they put every type of seasoning, they threw everything in the kitchen sink on the salmon. There's a nice little crisp, so you know they fried it well, but it's not crunchy. The salmon, it still has a juiciness to it. It's not dry. The coleslaw is great, the tartar sauce. Did I mention all of this is made in-house? Mm. This is a mom and pop uh, restaurant. A well, husband and wife restaurant. I don't know if they have any children, but they're running it, black owned. Um, this salmon's amazing. And you know, it has, it has salt to it, but the sweetness and the tanginess from the coleslaw and the, um, and the tartar sauce, 
Oh, yeah. I know people don't uh, give these kinds of scores because they're like, there's nothing that's a 10 out of 10. But I believe if you enjoy something well enough, then it can be a 10 out of 10 for you. People have different opinions on everything. But that's what I'm scoring it. This is a 10 out of 10. Perfect. This is a fish sandwich. Mm. So far, so good. We're going to check out the chicken next. All right, now we have the honey garlic lemon pepper chicken. All right, I only got the chicken in here, the sauce. Um, ooh. All right, and just sauce it up in here. There's nothing else but chicken, sauce, and bread, um, which I'm not mad at. I, you know, some people like a little lettuce and tomato. Some people like meat, bread, sauce. I like sandwiches regardless, so I won't complain. Bottoms up. I definitely like the salmon one a lot better, which is probably probably why it costs more. Um, this is good. It's solid. The sauce is like a nice sweet tang. Um, I personally prefer grilled cheese, but they didn't fry this chicken to death, which is a good thing. Um, there's enough crisp on the breading, but it's not like breading heavy, which is good. Chicken is juicy, and they put two sauces in here, I noticed. That's the honey lemon, that's the honey and lemon pepper. No, that one's honey garlic. The other one is like a, a lemon pepper kind of um, red sauce. Very interesting. solid but I think I would choose the salmon over this one ten times over with that being said I give this if the salmon was a 10 if that was the best thing I had then this would have to be an 8.5 I do like this more than the Mexican corn but so far nothing is topping that salmon sandwich I ain't even gonna lie to you Nothing is topping that salmon sandwich. I wish I was able to get two of the salmon sandwiches had I known how good it was going to be. But this is this is decent. It's good. And now we got ourselves some um, Trini Mac, which is a uh, mac and cheese with sh with sharp cheddar, Parmesan, and Gouda um, on pasta, obviously, with some sautéed onions some spices, some um, some sauteed peppers and whatnot. Um, and we got it with some honey garlic chicken. Of course, I've demolished both sandwiches, so we're just tasting this right here. I do not expect to finish this all in one setting because like I said, just came off a fast and uh, I'm not trying to gorge. So let's just get a taste. First, the chicken by itself. Chicken is good. Not a lot of, um, got some seasoning, enough to taste, but I'm not tasting the, um, the honey garlic. Maybe the sauce got on the, uh, on the mac. Let's try, let's try the mac. Let's try the mac. Mac's all right. The mac is all right. Not a big mac and cheese guy, but, um, what I'm tasting is it's decent.
Now, I'm gonna try this uh, sweet sauce. Nope. Nope. No. Absolutely not. Um, it has come to my attention, and I was just having a conversation with my wife about this yesterday. I was telling her how people cannot make, you know, sweet potatoes in the sauce. Apparently they can. And that's what this is. And, um, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it personally. You hear her in the background saying she told me something. You hear? It? You hear? It? She's here. Um, kind of disappointed. Kind of disappointed. Um, the sauce gets a four. <laughs> sauce gets a four. In fact, the sauce gets a two. Because <laughs> it's sweet, sweet potato, and I'm not not a fan of sweet potato. The pasta itself, though, um, the uh, the mac and cheese, I should say. Mac and cheese gets a solid um, seven. It's good mac. Would I go out of my way for it? Probably not, but it's decent. You should try it for yourself. All right, I've tasted enough of this. Time for drinks and dessert. I totally forgot to mention this in the video, by the way, um, from earlier. This is homemade strawberry lemonade. Uh, we're gonna see what it's hitting on. Oh, that hit. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not tart, but it's not too sweet either. It's a nice balance. And it's actually refreshing, especially since the sun was kind of cooking us all day. So this, this is, this hit the spot right here. Mm. The drink gets a 10. Perfect. It gets a 10. Look, it's already halfway gone. That's how good it is. Add some mango juice to this thing. Oh, it takes it beyond the 10. Because this is already good on its own. Mmm. I'll taste the dessert in a moment. I'm just gonna finish this. Time for dessert. This is what they call a, a strawberry cheesecake trifle. Um, apparently there's pudding and whipped cream in it. Um, oh. That's what it looks like on the inside. It smells divine. All right, time to try it out. Oh, oh, they got it's got yellow cake in it too. One more bite. One more. Now it's good. Okay. It's sweet. The problem is, there's not enough strawberry in it. Wow. Not enough strawberry in there. It's more so the cream and all the other fixes than anything else. I got the yellow cake. We got the other uh, pudding. Um, we got the whipped cream. But the strawberries, which is what will give it that nice tart taste that I'm looking for, is not in there. So, unfortunately, because of that. Oh, it's, it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. It tastes really good. But I'm not getting everything out of it that I would like. So for that, I got to give it a seven. 
I got to give it a 7. It's not terrible. If it was terrible, it would be ranked a lot lower. But it's not what I would have liked it to be. Um, so, yeah. That's my score. Now, the service was absolutely wonderful. Um, they were cooking their behinds off in that kitchen. And the line was long when I got up in there. There were still people waiting for their orders. It's just the husband and wife and a couple other people helping in the kitchen. So you got to be patient with them. Um, and they made sure their customer service was on point. They were very nice. They weren't rude at all. Um, the wife is the person who took uh, took my order. And she was very patient with me um, because my old, my old geriatric self doesn't know how to use Apple Pay. I used it for the first time today. And she was very patient with me, which I appreciate. Um, the overall score between the food and the service. Um, all the food wasn't hitting, but there was some food that was really good. Service was great. Um, I give it overall a 9 out of 10. Factoring in everything. Because most of the food was pretty high with the... the my favorite being the uh, the salmon sandwich. The Mexican street corn was a so was solid. The chicken sandwich was solid. Um, the mac, you know, I'm not a big mac guy, like I said, so that does you know factor into it. Um, the mac, uh, it was decent. I'm definitely going to finish it. Definitely going to finish it. It was decent. I probably wouldn't get it again over the sandwiches though. I probably wouldn't. Um, and I just personally didn't like the sauce. Not because they didn't know how to make sauce, but because I don't like sweet potatoes personally. So, not I'm not even going to count that against the, um, the restaurant. So overall, 9 out of 10. You guys should go check it out when you get the chance. It's on uh, Old National Highway in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, if you need the address, I'll leave it in this video. You have a great day. Okay, so review is not over. <laughs> um, I totally forgot. I saw this on their menu. I didn't see this online, but I did see it at their location. They got fried plantains. I love fried plantains. We're going to try them out. Ten. Now the review is over. Score is still the same.